Hello and welcome to the premium editing and learning tools for photographers. My name is Diana Kot and together with MCP Actions we help to improve your photography and editing today. In this lesson I want to show you how to change color of anything in your picture, whether it's colorful dress, gray cell phone or white lacquer. And we are going to start with a picture of a girl where I want to change the color of her dress. For this purpose we are going to create new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. I will create it by clicking on the corresponding icon in the adjustment panel. If you don't have such panel, you can add it on your workspace from menu window adjustments. Also you can create this layer from the bottom panel of the layer window. Also you can go to the menu layer, new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. So you can see that there are a lot of ways how you can create adjustment layer in Photoshop. Now we want to pick the color we are going to change. It's cyan. So it won't affect other parts of the image. And you can see that when I now drag hue slider, I change dress color to blue, red and so on. You may see some color noise. Let's go closer to the fabric. Our dress is not completely cyan. It also has some green in it. To remove this noise, we will use color dropper. You can see we have such instrument for precise color selection. And I will add this green to our range of changes. And now we have clear blue color. You can see we don't affect other parts of the image. Also you can use saturation slider making our color stronger or weaker. And of course with lightness slider you can make it lighter or darker, creating any color you want. Sometimes you will need to change the color of the gray object. In this case you will not be able to do it with just hue slider, because we don't have any initial color here like green, red and so on. But this task is also not so complicated. Let's start with creating selection of the area we want to change. I am going to use pen tool here, creating the path. After I close the path, I click on the right button of the mouse and choose option make selection. And when this gray area is selected, I will once again create adjustment layer, hue and saturation. We are interested in the option colorize. This option colorizes your image to some selected color that you pick with hue slider. You can see now I have hue and blue. If I start to drag it, I can change it to any other color I want. Let's stay with this orange. After that you can change intensity of your color using saturation slider. And of course with lightness you can make it lighter or darker. You can see that we have our selection as a layer mask. So we see changes only over the gray part. If we switch off layer mask, click on the layer mask holding shift key. You can see that we actually colorize all image including shadow and light parts of this device. To avoid that, we need to spend some time and create layer mask. Let's now discuss even more difficult task. How to change color of the white object. Here we can't even use colorize option, because our object is too light for this. Let's once again select our object. I will use pen tool again. You may think about using polygonal lasso tool, since all lines here are straight. It's a good idea, but I prefer to stay with the pen tool, because if I put the dot in the wrong place, I can always shift it holding Ctrl key. If you use Mac, you should hold Command key. After we closed our pass, we create selection. Now I will create new empty layer and click on the button Create Layer Mask. 
You can see we have our selection on the layer mask now. Now once again select layer, select any color you want. I will select pink and fill your layer with this color. For the next step, we are going to change our layer blend mode from normal to multiply. And you can see immediate result, our locker is now pink. You can experiment and try other blend modes. You can see that linear burn gives the same result for us. Let's try another one. Overlay gives very soft result. This looks strange. Color burn may be interesting. Darken also not bad, but I think multiply gives the best result. I spent some time masking locker handles, so they are not so pink now. You can see how my layer mask looks like. And if you decided that your pink color is not correct, and you want to change it a little bit, there is a very easy way to do it. Just go to the menu Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And now with the panel you already know, you can easily fix your layer color to something that fits your needs. In the last part of the lesson, we are going to change color of a black hoodie. Just like for the previous parts, I will start with selecting this black fabric. But here I will try to do it in other way. Since we have black fabric with the red parts and white background, I'll try to select it by color. Go to the menu Select Color Range and with the color dropper click on the black hoodie. You can see resulted selection in this small window. Fuzzing the slider regulates the accuracy of your color choice. Let's make it bigger to select more black. And with color dropper with the plus, I will add some other parts of the hoodie that are not yet selected. Let's press OK. If we go closer, you can see that our selection is not very accurate. To fix it, once again go to the menu selection, select and mask. In this window you can see our selection as a mask. Just select black and white mode. To remove this noise, I will enlarge contrast of the selection. You can still see some strange black dot. Just take a brush and draw them with a the white color, adding to our selection. These black spots on the hood are actually shadows, so let's deselect them by drawing here with a black brush. When everything is ready, press OK. And now let's create hue and saturation adjustment layer with our selection on the layer mask. You can see that when I try to colorize it, we actually see some result, but if I try to make color lighter, we start to lose picture details. I don't see the folds of the fabric, the texture and the details of the sleeves. We need to fix it somehow. Holding Ctrl or Command key, I will click on the layer mask. As a result, I have my selection again. And now I will create another adjustment layer, Curves. With this selection on the layer mask. By dragging this curve up and shifting white point left, I try to make my hoodie gray and keep natural look. This one is fine. And now I will just place hue and saturation layer on the top and do the same as for the gray cell phone in the second part of this lesson. And you can see that result now is quite good. We recolored our hoodie. This is it. Thank you a lot for your attention. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. My name is Diana Kot. This is MCP Action and we hope to see you in the next lessons.